Hello, this is Jay Doe, and this is Night Chat. Okay, today I will be talking to you about two UFO experiences that I have had in my life that has uh, totally changed my beliefs on uh, aliens and what is out there. When I was about seven or eight, I was at my uncle's house waiting for my mother to pick me up to take me to school, which was in Kearney Mesa. I was on the couch and my uncle and his little friend were close in his room, even though he had another room, but that was his fishing floor room, which we will get back to later, but, um, I had awoken up because of a dis little disturbance and I had looked and saw a little creature alien type thing going into my uncle's room from the fishing room because the doors were you know, right across the way from each other and I saw that, I didn't know what the hell it was, so I immediately put the covers over my head, and that was, you know, it, and, um, what had happened was, um, the sheet on the bed was not pulled all the way up over my, uh, my uncle's girlfriend's, uh, breasts, so, the alien was staring at my uncle's girlfriend's breast, and my, when my uncle had woken up, he turned his head and saw this, and he told me he didn't know what to do to stay perfectly still, or, <laughs> like, the only thing he could think of is how fast can I get to my camera. You know, and take a picture of this thing. And of course, that never happened because as soon as he realized that my uncle was looking straight at him, which would be the alien, it took off like a bad, like light speed, my uncle said, and went way back into the fishing pole room and which was much louder this time and it ended up knocking over all of his poles it knocked over his lures his everything was in disarray it, every nothing was where it was before it was trashed um no poles got broken thank god but Still, you know, there's hooks and stuff everywhere, so, um, he might have taken a piece of, uh, fishing tools with him back up to his, uh, ship. The interesting part is when my mom came to pick me up on her, um, every morning she listened to me during the morning, and when I got in the car they were talking about a spaceship that was right over the apartment of my mom of my uncles and there's the freeway uh, 805 and then a bridge that crosses over in McCurney Mesa and um, then Linda Vista if you make the left but if you go straight which right where the um, apartments were to the right they were talking about a UFO that looked like a 1940s pirate ship, and I'm pretty sure Jeff and Jerry remember this story, because it was in the morning, and everyone was going to work, and it was in plain sight. Um, I couldn't tell you how far up it was, but it was, planes flew higher than where this thing was, you can see, I mean, clear as day. So, um, that is, and they were talking about it, you know, when 
I got in the car, and then I told my mom, and mom both told my mom and that the whole family what had happened. That was pretty trippy, but he never uh, told the news or anything. <laughs> so, uh, my uncle's not the type of person who uh, likes to talk to uh, a lot of people. That is the first um, incident I've had. The second incident was in my grandparents beach house in Rosario Beach, Mexico and it was my mom, my uncle, my oldest uncle, Nikki, my grandparents and their two best friends and what had happened is we were outside of the house listening to the waves and the um, see a um, ship that looked like lost in space and it flew in to about 15 yards maybe 15 20 yards stopped and then did a zigzag pattern and took off like boom and and Mexico it's really Stars. We were looking at all the stars, and we were turned opposite way of the water. You know, we weren't looking at the water, we were looking towards the mountains. So it came towards the mountainside, um, and stopped, took off, going back the other way east. Then five seconds and everybody was looking at each other like what just happened it was uh, totally out of the blue and it was <laughs> some things I'll never forget anyways uh, thank you for uh, hanging out with me tonight and listening to my story I will be coming back with more this is Jay Dome with Night Channel. Have a good night.